series, we learn about some of the morphological operations, dilation, erosion, opening and closing, hitomis transform and some basic morphological algorithms. Image Morphing Morphological image processing is a collection of non-linear operations related to the shape of morphology or features in an image. Morphological operations can also be applied to grayscale images such as the light transfer function are unknown and therefore their absolute pixel values are of no or of minor interest. This is an example of image morphing where the face is slowly transformed to another to a and map to a animal. Some of the fundamental operations of image morphing are erosion and dilation. First we learn about erosion. Erosion is one of the two fundamental operations in morphological image processing from which all other morphological operations are based. And in the erosion of an image is the structure is by the structure element. That is, this is the structuring element. As given by the set of operation, as an example of a binary erosion, suppose that the structuring element is a 3 into 3 square with the origin at its center, which means this is the origin. Note that the subsequent diagrams of foreground pixels are represented by 1 and backgrounds are by zeros. To compute the erosion of a binary input, we input image by this structuring element we consider each of the foreground pixels in the input image in turn which means we consider each of the image here this uh, where one is a foreground and zero is a background for each of the image in the uh, each of the pixel in the foreground that is considered for this this pixel we consider all of the eight connected surrounding which means all of the nine all of the eight points and if all of them are one that is all of them are in the foreground we keep this as one else we put it as zero that means look at here it is given as a zero whereas consider this pixel it has all the surround eight connected region as one and hence it is retained as one this process is continued to form this output the next process is the dilation. This is typically applied to binary images, but there are versions that work on grayscale images. As, a, as an example of binary dilation, suppose that the structuring element is a 3 to 3 square with the origin at its center. The same way applies here. What happens here is, consider for this, uh, for this pixel in the foreground, all the, if, a, um, if all the eight, all the eight connected regions are checked, at least even if one of the pixels is in the foreground, all of them are, are marked as the foreground. For example, consider this one. Since it has some of the uh, pixels in the foreground, surrounding pixels in the foreground, all of the pixels around it are marked as one. This process is repeated till you get this output. Next is opening. Opening is somewhat similar to these are two operators from mathematical morphology. Both are derived from operations on erosion and dilation. What happens in uh, opening is first an erosion is performed and then it is followed by a dilation. For example, this is an eroded image and dilation is applied on this image which means this, uh, this is the output you get from the image. The next is closing. Closing is, a, closing is another it is another similar way to dilation that it tends to enlarge the boundaries of foreground. That means the foreground is increased. How it does this? The first it is done by a dilation and then it is followed by an erosion. The next is a hit of mist transformation. For the uh, for all of the below uh, before um, before transformation, the structuring element was was all in the uh, foreground, which means all of them had one in one in the foreground. And even if they had um, a zero, it was negotiated. But here, it is not negotiated. This is an example of hit or miss transform. What happens here is, 
uh, it is general morphological operation that can be used to look for particular patterns in foreground and the background pixels in an image. As an example of an extended kind of structuring element as shown is here. The hit and miss operation is performed in much same way by other morphological by translating the origin of all the structuring element to all the points in the image and then comparing the structuring element with the underlying image pixels. If the foreground and the background pixel in the foreground exactly match the foreground and background pixel in the image, the pixel underneath is of the origin is set to the foreground color, which means consider this structuring element 11000. And consider um, a position, a position here, 111000. No, since this doesn't follow the same pattern, the pixel is changed here. But uh, let us see a pixel that is not uh, that that is not being changed. This pixel. So here, 111000. The same pic, um, pattern that was here. So if uh, if the structure is matching. The foreground pixel is kept as it is. If the structure is not matching, the foreground pixel is changed into a background pixel. The next is thinning. What happens in thinning is, is it is related to the hit and miss transform and it can be expressed quite in terms of it. Thinning of i and j can be expressed as 1 minus hit and miss of i and j. Which means if the foreground and background pixels in the structuring element exactly match the foreground and the background pixel in the image, then the image pixel underneath is set to a background zero. As opposed to this, where we check for the uh, foreground pixel, uh, check for the pixels, and we retain the foreground color. Here, if there is a match, it is converted into a background pixel. Uh, let us check for um, you know, some matching pair here. Consider um, this position 1, 1, 1 and 0, 0, 0. Since this was a uh, pattern there, a uh, pattern that was obtained there, this the position at this place is kept as a 0 here. So this is about thinning and skeletonization. What is the difference between thinning and skeletonization is, thinning is when it is applied once to the element and skeletonization is applying thinning uh, the process of thinning to an object in such a way that only the skeleton of the object is remain behind. Consider this appears to be an edge and this is the skeleton of the image. So this is all about um, some of the morphological operations and their algorithms. So the 8th module is done. Uh, thank you for learning with Junk Minds.